We have the technology. We have the capability to make the world's first floating backpack better, stronger, and it floats so you can hike faster for longer. Welcome to the future of backpacking. You've never seen a backpack that moves like this or that lets you move like this. And this motion isn't just for show. By suspending the load, Hover Glide reduces impact forces by 80 to 90%, relieving stress and strain on your back and knees. It will especially reduce the joint and muscle pain you feel during descents. Over the course of a long day hiking, that can make a huge difference. The suspended load backpack is one of the biggest innovations in hiking in the last 30 years. Here's what makes it so different. On the right is a typical backpack. The load is firmly attached to your back, so as you move, the pack moves with you. With each step, the weight accelerates and decelerates up and down. These dynamic forces are as much as three times the static weight in the pack. Hoverglide separates the load from your back. The load floats on an elastic coupling, reducing both the dynamic load and the impact forces by 80 to 90 percent. The stress on your body is cut dramatically. This in turn reduces your metabolic effort, giving you more endurance. We're testing suspended load technology with some of the toughest customers we could find the U.S. military. When I first heard about suspended load technology, I was skeptical. A lot of um, products that the Marines get sent to test are a lot of talk and no walk. And I tried on the pack and I realized that it actually does make carrying heavy loads easier. I was so impressed, in fact, that I asked if I could be a part of the team. And for years, I've been testing the packs, brought them to various bases so they can try them out in simulated missions, long marches, runs. And the hardest part of all the testing is getting the backpacks back. In the last two years, we've delivered more than 130 packs with suspended load technology to the military. And now we want to bring this amazing technology to consumers. We know that you might want different packs for different activities. So Hoverglide has four models to choose from, each with unique features. The three smaller packs share a 20 inch frame design, meaning you can buy one frame and swap out the different packs. The Hoverglide Trekker is a 55-liter rugged gear hauler that's designed for the backcountry. It has enough capacity for two people on a three-day hike and is made from ripstop material that's both durable and lightweight. Pockets on the hip belt and sides are easily accessible for maps, gear, and digital devices. The 20-inch packs are for urban use, training, or shorter treks into the wilderness. The Commuter is a 28-liter pack with enough room for students or commuters. The spacious main compartment has a padded laptop sleeve and the haul loop makes it easy to pick up. You'll find going up and down steps is a breeze. The Hiker Pack has enough room for a day on the trail. Like larger packs, it has room for a 2-liter reservoir for hydration on the go. External stash pockets make emergency clothing layers easily accessible. The tactical pack is great for first responders or anyone on the go. It can hold additional supplies, first aid gear, or off-trail work materials. External pockets have extra room for gear, and the webbing grid accepts MOLLE units to expand the capacity. The heavyweight construction is ideal for carrying weights for training while not injuring your joints. As you can see, Hoverglide has innovative technology, an ergonomic design, and is filled with unbelievable features that you won't find anywhere else. Our team tested it in labs, on treadmills, and on long treks across the wilderness. The result? We aren't overstating it to say it's a revolutionary new backpack. Hoverglide will make your hikes easier, so there's less impact on your body and you'll have more energy when you're done. But first, we need the support of people like you to bring a backpack like no other to market. Support Hoverglide, the world's first floating backpack.